Hey guys, anyway, so here, welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few iPad tricks you probably didn't know exist. As Apple continues to update iPadOS, there's always new features and changes, and not many users know about these hidden features with an iPad that can improve the user experience. So in this video, we're gonna go over a few iPad tricks that you probably didn't know about. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on the those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing i want to talk about is swiping through applications on ipad multitasking so if you swipe from the bottom of the dock up towards the center obviously you get your app switcher you can see all of your applications but there's actually a faster way to swipe through your apps if you swipe on the bottom of the dock from left to right right here you can actually browse through all your apps that are open right there just like so it's actually fairly simple and it's a lot faster in my opinion than just browsing through your apps this way again you can swipe right there on the center or the bottom center of the dock right there just like so and just swipe through all your apps rather quickly now you can also use a four finger gesture directly on the screen so four fingers bring up the app switcher just like so and you can browse through all your apps that are open incredibly quickly on ipad now the next thing i want to talk about is a three finger gesture a three finger pinch and this can actually help you copy and paste text or images between applications. So for example, if I go into, let's say the photos application here, and I pinch with three fingers, you'll see that this will copy the image to the clipboard. Now I can actually paste this image into messages, into emails, or even notes. I can bring up the notes application here, for example. Let's go ahead and delete this image, and let's go ahead with three fingers, pinch outwards, and this should paste the image directly into notes, just like so. As you can see right there, pinching with three fingers inwards will actually copy text or images pinching outwards will actually paste it very very useful next i want to talk about the keyboard on ipad and now if you have a larger display ipad like this one here with the 12.9 inch and you're trying to type into the safari search tab here it can get difficult to type because the screen is so large you can actually pinch with two fingers and make the keyboard smaller just like so and you can drag it to a corner and maybe just use it as if you were typing swiping on an iphone display because it gets a lot smaller there and you can pinch outwards to bring it back again but you can pinch inwards and make the keyboard smaller right there and you can swipe to type it's a lot easier to use especially on larger display iPads now next I want to show you how to create perfect shapes using your Apple pencil on your iPad now if you look at my iPads display you can barely see any shadows or reflections as you can see right here there's no glare that is because I'm using a screen protector which is by paper like now paper like is today's sponsor in this screen protector not not only does it avoid any glare or any reflection, but it actually brings the paper-like feeling experience to your iPad's display. Have you ever tried using an Apple Pencil without paper-like on your screen? It feels like you're actually drawing or writing on glass because you are. Well, screen protectors from paper-like bring the paper-like feeling experience to the iPad. So if you like to draw, if you like to write with your Apple Pencil, you're going to love paper like now paper like also offers the apple pencil grip so they have these rubber grips for apple pencil as you can see right here which make it a lot nicer and better to hold your pencil for better precision when you're using paper like screen protector and paper like the actual pencil grip as well now they also offer a cleaning kit for your screen protector which i love it's easy to use as you can see right here paper like cleaning kit allows you to just bring this portable cleaning kit with you you get it out of the package just like so this material here is what actually cleans your ipad's display you can spray by pressing on the top here and then just swipe this on your ipad and it cleans your ipad's display it leaves it nice and clean and ready to use let me show you how i use paper like to create perfect shapes on the ipad i can go ahead and select the pencil and then just draw a star hold it in place and it creates a star a circle hold it in place and it creates a circle sort of an oval there let's try a circle again there we go i can't there it is a circle we also have a triangle maybe we can get a triangle going sort of i'm not good with shapes as you can see but yeah this actually makes the pencil feel like you're writing in real paper you guys have to try it out if you have an ipad you got to check out paper like links will be in the description again the pencil grip for better precision and you also have the paper like cleaning kit which i think most of you guys will love it is portable it is easy to use and it works i give it a 10 out of 10 
for the screen protector for the actual pencil grip and especially the cleaning kit which is awesome again creating perfect shapes is as easy as just creating a star holding in place and boom that is how you create perfect shapes so check out paper like links will be in the description and down below now let me show you how to use a bottom screen gestures for different actions if you swipe from the bottom left you have quick notes just like so you can create a note directly on iPad and now with the latest software update you can actually swipe from the bottom left as well and you can now take a screenshot just like so from the screen of your iPad which is super handy now you can also modify this particular feature by going into settings for example if I go into settings here swipe down and find the notes extension right there it is then you want to head on over to the actual corner gesture so we're going to look here for corner gestures and right here it is you can enable or disable this feature on the bottom right you have the option for taking a quick note or a screenshot or turn it off altogether. same thing applies for the bottom left corner you have quick notes screenshots hopefully Apple will add more features to the corners of iPad again swiping from the bottom right will bring up the quick notes sheets right there it is and swiping from the bottom left would actually take a screenshot of your iPad's display really cool feature not many probably knew about now for whatever reason iPads never had a calculator application look it up it never did so did you know you didn't really need a calculator iPad app because you can swipe down on spotlight here for example and let's say I want to add uh, these numbers here all I have to do is just type these numbers in and you get the results right there on spotlight so yeah look it up iPads never had a stock calculator app like iPhone because you can actually do it directly from Spotlight. Very cool feature, not many knew about. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about these applications that you see on the top left corner of my screen. For example, I can open up YouTube directly from this cluster of applications. I can also open up Twitter if I wish to do so, just like so. Now, of course, you need the app to be installed in order for this widget because this is a widget to work on your iPads. If you don't have the app, the widget will not open the application, obviously. How do you get this cluster of applications on the top left corner of your screen? Well, as I mentioned, the widget is available in this application right here. You can download it from the App Store. And this application allows you to browse through different widgets. Now, if you browse through the widgets here, you see that you can actually go ahead and search for a particular widget. So let's go ahead and search through the large section of widgets. Right there it is. This is the one that I'm currently using. All I did was remove the background add it to the widget list, import it, and remove the background and add it to the widget list. And now the background on the widget is black, so it blends in with the wallpaper. And it has all your applications built in right there, as you can see. And you can edit this widget as you wish. I'll link this application in the description. A really cool app, really cool features here built into this widget extension on the home screen. Check it out. Links will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoy videos like this one. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.